Hi, welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to go over something that happened on American soil, cyber attacks happening that may result in a global scale. We're talking about global cyber attack, pandemonium chaos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So several U.S. federal government agencies have been hit with a global cyber attack by Russian cyber criminals that exploits a vulnerability in widely used software, according to a top U.S. cybersecurity agency. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency is providing support to several federal agencies that have experienced intrusions affecting their Move It applications. Eric Goldstein, the, agency, the agency's executive assistant director for cybersecurity, said in a statement on Thursday, right, referring to the software impacted. We are working urgently to understand impacts and ensure timely remediation. Aside from U.S. government agencies, several hundred companies and organizations in the U.S. could be affected by the hacking spree, a senior CISA official told reporters later Thursday, citing estimates from private experts. Klopp, the ransomware gang allegedly responsible, is known to demand multi-million dollar ransoms, but no ransom demands have been made of federal agencies, the senior official told reporters in a background briefing. CISA's response comes as Progress Software, the U.S. firm that makes the uh, software exploited by the hackers, said it had discovered a second vulnerability in the code that the company was working to fix. The Department of Energy is among multiple federal agencies breached in the ongoing global hacking campaign, a department spokesperson confirmed to uh, CNN. Okay, The hacks have not had any significant impacts on federal civilian agencies, CISA Director Jen Easter told reporters, adding that the hackers have been largely opportunistic in using the software flaw to break into networks. The news adds to a growing tally of victims of sprawling hacking campaign that began, that began two weeks ago and has hit major U.S. universities and state governments. The hacking spree mounts pressure on federal officials who have pledged to put a dent in the scourge of ransomware attacks that have hobbled schools, hospitals, and local governments across the U.S. Since late last summer, the hackers have been exploiting a flaw in widely used software known as Move It that companies and agencies use to transfer data. Progress Software, the U.S. firm that makes the software, told CNN that the new vulnerability in the software has been discovered that could be exploited by a bad hacker. We have communicated with customers on the steps they need to take to further secure their environments, and we have also taken Move It Cloud offline as we urgently work to patch the issue, the company said in a statement. Agencies were much quicker Thursday to deny they'd been affected by the hacking than to confirm they were. The Transportation Security Administration and the State Department said they were not victims of the hack. The Department of Energy took immediate steps to mitigate the impact of the hack after learning the records from two department entities had been compromised, the department spokesperson said. The department has notified Congress and is working with law enforcement, CISA, and the affected entities to investigate the incident and mitigate impacts from the breach. One of the Department of Energy victims is Oak Ridge Associated Universities, which is a not-for-profit research center. A department spokesperson told CNN and the other victim is a contractor affiliated with the department's waste isolation pilot plant in New Mexico, which disposes waste associated with atomic energy, the spokesperson said. Federal News Network first reported on the Department of Energy victims. Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore and the university's renowned health system said in a statement this week, that sensitive personal and financial information, including health billing records, may have been stolen in the hack. That is no bueno. Meanwhile, Georgia State Wide University Systems, which spans the 40,000 student University of Georgia along with over a dozen state colleges and universities, confirmed it was investigating the scope and severity of the hack. Klopp last week claimed credit for some of the hacks, which has also affected employees of the BBC, the British Airways, oil giant Shell, and state governments in Minnesota and Illinois, among others. The Russian hackers were the first to exploit the Move It vulnerability, but experts say other groups may now have access to software code needed to conduct 
attacks. The ransomware group had given victims until Wednesday to contact them about paying a ransom, after which they began listing more alleged victims from the hack on their extortion site on the dark web. As of Thursday morning, the dark website did not list any US federal agencies. Instead, the hackers wrote in all caps, if you are a government, city, or police service, do not worry. We erased all your data. Hmm, I don't believe that. You do not need to contact us. We have no interest to expose such information. The CLOP ransomware group is one of the numerous gangs in Eastern Europe and Russia that are almost exclusively focused on uh, ringing their victims for as much money as possible. The activity we're seeing at the moment, adding company names to their leaked site, is a tactic to scare victims both listed and unlisted into paying you know, like uh, Ralph Piling, the director of the threat researchers, uh, you know, at Dell own secures that told CNN screenshots. So what do you think about this story? Uh, this is this is incredible. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you in the next video.